Welcome to Church of the Chair, where some stories don't take an arm and a leg to tell. They only take an arm. I'm your host, E, and today's video is dedicated to Boggle Queen. How you doing? If you're new around here, I need to give you a warning. In this series, I will be spoiling all of Stephen King's work. So if you haven't read them all, I suggest you click away now. You've been warned. Today, we're talking about Duma Key by Stephen King. So how does Duma Key tie into the Stephen King universe and the Dark Tower series? Let's talk about that. The first thing I want to mention is a comment that I get quite often, but I'm only going to showcase one, and that's from this viewer right here. No, you do not have to read all of these books that I am covering to understand the Dark Tower series. There's a very specific list, but mostly you only have to read the Dark Tower series to understand the Dark Tower series. So if you've been worried about that, I can assure you, you're fine. Okay, on to the theories and the connections. The first connection that I will point out is actually from this guy. There's a whole lot of 19 in this book. Flight numbers, uh, counting the letters of people's names, there's a load of them. If you want a comprehensive list of this, because I just don't want to sit here and start reading off numbers, I suggest going to stephenking.com and look at some of the fan uh, the where they have the, the comment section. There's a guy named Zach who went through and made sure he noted every single time that number 19 popped up. It's in addresses, it's in names, it's in flights, it's in all that stuff. And we say thank you, Cy. The next thing that I will mention is we have Edgar Fremantle. Fremantle is a name that shows up quite often in the Stephen King universe, as pointed out by my friend Patrick here. We also have Abigail Fremantle from The Stand, and yes, different races. There are issues with tying those two together, but I do appreciate Patrick pointing out the uh, the tie-in. Patrick, this saved me a lot of time and trouble trying to tie in the story Big Wheels to the Stephen King universe, so I appreciate you more than words can express. The next thing I want to bring up is, once again, Edgar Fremantle goes through a significant trauma. He loses his arm in the book. Once again, a significant trauma unlocks an ability, this one being Edgar's ability to paint things in and out of existence, much like Patrick Danville from The Dark Tower and Insomnia. And here's a brand new connection that no one has mentioned. I have not found this anywhere except for one reddit thread and i have since lost the link so my apologies if you want to i believe i found it in the just google searching how many times does the number 19 show up in duma key there was a comment on the very first hit on a reddit thread about this that duma key was published in 2008 and there is a heart-shaped box in duma key it is mentioned at least once and then you have Joe Hill's, who is it, Stephen King's son. We have Joe Hill's heart-shaped box, which came out the year before. I believe this is the first time these two authors referenced each other, but I could be wrong. I would love to hear from you guys about if there were sooner uh, occasions where they referenced each other. But I stumbled across this and about lost my mind because I love little things like this. I'm not a huge fan of overt Easter eggs, like with Joe Hill's The Fireman, all the in, all the references to the stand just kind of got, I, it, was, it was way too much for me. But did anyone else catch this? Because I, I was freaking out when I found out. But that's all the time I have for you today. If I missed anything, if you need to correct anything that I said in this video, please do so. Or do you have your own theories about how Duma Key ties into the Dark Tower? If you do, let me know down there in the comments. But until next time... Yes, I believe Edgar Fremantle's Duma Key period was his best work. Yes. How the sun slowly trickles. Yes. All hail the chair.